Yeah, I'm an idiot. I forgot to hold the phone sideways. I think you can rotate the video. You can, but you have to stop and start the video. Uh, you can't rotate it in your phone? Or? No, you can't rotate it halfway through. You have to, you could, you'd have to cut it and then save it and then rotate the what's left. It's a real pain in the butt. That's why I don't make YouTube videos hardly at all now. Well, and I killed the laptop. It had an unfortunate event. Hey, it ain't my fault. If I tell the laptop to do something, it should freaking well do it. <laughs> Teach it to listen. I bought a laptop to be able to make videos and uh, edit and stuff like that. So I bought a little Lenovo S145 because that added up to 10. And I thought, well, at least I could use it as a tuning computer because my old tuning computer is kind of leaves a lot to be desired it's older than me and i was trying to edit video and i kept telling it to transfer files and they wouldn't do it and it kept freezing and what can i say it met its demise your pickup is even really clean yeah it's still got the weird sludge on it Okay. I almost wonder if that's an assembly lube because we've never changed your oil yet. Mm -mm. We never had enough miles on it to change it. So that might that might have just been miles. part of that sludge from assembly lube. Maybe. Because we did use a lot of assembly lube because this thing was kind of rusty. Did sit for 190 years. Looks like it. Before we painted it, it looked horrible. This tape still. I still think it was knocking if it was knocking it's number seven but yeah I only say number seven because that was the one that always lost all spark all the other cylinders would fire random and they'd get real hot exhaust temperatures like they're firing in the pipe but they were still getting fire number seven would lose all spark and if anything was going to kill it that's the only thing I could think of that would be the reason why for number seven to just lose spark and then come back and lose spark and come back. I've had about enough ignition troubles with this thing. What'd you do, drop it in the engine? Oh well. You can use a magnet and get it out. We'll find it when we pull the piston. Make sure you put those in the uh, pan bag. Hey, you got your 10 millimeter? Yeah, it's over there. Hmm. Where? It's over by the oil pan. Oh, okay. Careful. Almost died. You did. And this garage is such a freaking mess, guys. I'd almost hire a cleaning crew to come in and organize this thing at the rate of like, I don't know. You'd have to pay them like $1,000 an hour because the hazards, like legitimately death hazard if you walk in here. <laughs> Sign a waiver and shit. It's like Halloween. Come in at your own risk. And parts goblins to get you. All our LS parts will chase you. Did you find it? No, I don't know where it went. Is it under the pan? You can move the pan now. Alright, well, then it ain't under the pan, so where'd you put it? Lost a 10 millimeter, guys. You believe that? Freaking kid. No, it's right here. He found it. It's on the end of the air ratchet. I don't need this long of an extension. It's just I'm gonna use it because it was there. Yeah. Timing chain looks brand new, or because it is. No, it's not. That was the used chain that came with this. I think I don't think I bought a new chain. Do you remember me buying a new chain? No. So this just pulls out straight. So just kind of wiggle it. See this hook? And then just kind of wiggle that and it should pull up out of there. There you go. Gasket. There's your gasket. Good. Okay. Pump looks that. good. 
we're gonna put all of the shims on this ported oil pump. You guys see that nice ported job? Yeah, I ported that. And so you guys wanna know, all you gotta do to make this high pressure, is throw two shims in it. It's really that easy. Had an engineer on LS Tech, LS1 Tech show everybody how to calculate how many shims it needed. And then he shimmed it. Well, the good news is, there's no heat. I wonder why. <laughs> in the thrust. See how there's no discoloration? There's barely any heat in the motor. It's only drove five feet. So there's no heat in the thrust. It's probably not a thrust issue. There's a little bit of play. That's not bad. Dude, it looks solid. I don't see any... I see any signs of a bent rod. That nut, wherever it went. Huh? <laughs> you see the nut in there? In one of the top of the pistons? I think it's this one right here. Probably. No. It's probably down on the can. Probably. If it's on the cam, then it's... Uh, the bottom of the pistons all look good. Yeah. Dude, this is crazy. I don't see anything wrong with this. Give me a screwdriver, a big one. A big one? Um, Even all the rods have the exact same discoloration on them. And it turns over like butter, guys. I mean, like finger. Look. There's literally no effort on turning this engine over. Try and find the nick on the reluctor wheel. The nick on the reluctor wheel? Yeah. You're gonna have to really look because your phone makes it look easy. It's real tiny. It's right here. Right there. That's what was causing it to misfire. Yep. But I really think that happened on us. Like when this crank was, we bought this engine apart, sitting in boxes. We never had it together when we purchased it. It was all apart, the crank was apart. We sent the crank to the machine shop, so it could have gotten dropped, it could have gotten kicked into something. And this just got missed when we were assembling it. I mean, it really at that time, I didn't know anything about it. Hell, I didn't know it would even matter. It's literally the only spot on the whole deal. Get your, uh, get you a, a 10 millimeter 12 point and let's try to pop these caps off these rods and just take a gander at them real quick. Yeah, there's no heat in that crank. Look at that. That thing's the most even colored crank you could ask for. Like, there's no discoloration, no heat wear. I don't think that was the issue guys I told Garrett before we tore it down I was like I almost wonder if that was fuel knock from bad E85 his fuel in his truck came out of my truck and it was bad in my truck how much gap should this have guys see the reluctor down there yeah We left the crank sensor in. It's got a little bitty gap. I bet that's right. And it's dead centered right where it should be. Mm-hmm.
and you can't get. I don't think that's I mean, bad at all. Uh, all right, stay tuned. I guess we're gonna go ahead and pop some caps off. Bust some caps. Damn.